<laughs> Good morning, everybody. My granddaughter Carly is here and she wants to see how soda bread is made. So this is what we're doing. This so morning. what's in here already? Just flour. How ounces. much flour? 16 ounces. All right. Which is a pound. And, and you get a good pinch of salt and a spoon of sugar. Don't put too much sugar in because the sugar helps to to rise it up. But if you put too much, it's sweet. So that much will be enough. And I also boil the kettle, put some butter in a cup, and melt the butter. It's that is if you like. If you don't like it with butter in, you don't have to do it. All right. This is where you've got to. Be very careful. So, what are you putting in? A spoon and a half of bicarbonate of soda. So, you put it on your hand. So, you have to measure the spoon and a half and you make sure there's no liquid. Because I've got to show you how to make the, the butter rice. Ben's favourite job then. That's what you'll have to do. Get Ben in while, <laughs> while he's picking out all the stuff he likes to put on. So how much butter are you putting in? Mm, I'll show you. Just a, a knob. I'll cut it up so that it will melt quickly. Mm -hmm. Alright. You don't need to put a lot of water on this. Because it's just just soften up. And you put it. Now if you haven't got enough milk carly, you can put some more because what's sour in there will sour the mix lot. Alright? Mm. So, and that's that's more or less all it is. But you don't you don't need this too much. A lot of people they still need it a lot, but and I use I use that tin for biscuits, but I also use the lid for baking my right now. You chuck that in mm -hmm. and mix it. But that's optional. The butter? The butter, yeah, that's, that's optional. Because we never use butter. Butter at home. How did um, your mum used to cook this bread? Over an open fire in a flat pot. One of the pots was about that size and one of them was about that size. And when she made an apple pie, she made it in the big one. And the kids from the village would be there with their spoons waiting for the treacle. <laughs> yeah. There was Pig and, Pig and Mary Roach and uh, another girl down the road, I can't remember her name, but she knew there was an apple pie going. She was there. Now, once it gets that wet, you start to dry it. How wet? And you get flour. How wet is it? Well, it's, it's a bit, bit more wet than but I like to do that to make sure it's all, all nice and mixed. And then you get flour and you dry it. Sounds corny. Sounds Irish. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and this. with this you don't mix it too hard. You more or less fold it.
You see, in, in Ireland, we used to knead the bread with our fingers and things like that, but um, they're making all the years that we should sort of just fold it. And, uh, and those work on it too. And when you put it in the thing, you cut a cross in it, and that's supposed to let the steam out. And when it's finished, I will take it out of the oven. You'll be waiting for it to get cool enough so we can have it for lunch with the soup. Mm. All right. Okay. Any minute. It will take about 35, 35 minutes, 40 minutes to, to be right. Okay. If you want this, you can make it into little, like scones, and then a pull apart type of thing, which is very handy. Okay, now. It's not, and that's as good as it should be, but. I should do it more often, should <laughs> Okay, so the idea of that is to let the steam out. Where are you hitting it? What should it sound like? Like that. Hollow. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> 